on everyone back to do a review on my corals and uh, show you my growth and I started using a new um, two-part um, it's from me coral I got that at reef Palooza last year I was using a, a cheap brand before and it was it was keeping my calcium where it was supposed to be uh, my pH definitely is a constant struggle even after using the Seachem 8.3 <clears throat> all it really did was basically throw my alkalinity way up and I tried it once or twice and I didn't want to keep doing spikes so I'll let you know how this uh, brand goes I was gonna do the BRS but um, that'll be my next route um, these guys, you know, you, you get the powder, it's, uh, what is it, pharmaceutical grade powder, and you use a RODI, and you make one gallon, so it's only like $11.99, which is not bad, and he's, uh, when I met the guy, he was uh, swearing up and down that, you know, it was a good product, so, um, give it a chance, and there was a lot of people at his booth, so, but yeah guys, um, I don't know what happened to my hammer, I don't know if it's the position that it's in, because it was uh, way bigger than that, and uh, here, hold on a second guys, these guys, ah, they already know when the, the timer turns off the circulation pumps, they already know it's feeding time. So that's why they're all up and out. I still give them the spectrum for small fish. But yeah, guys, my Duncans are doing well. My strawberry fields are spreading. I think it already somewhat is attaching itself back there, as you can see, to that rock on the bottom. <laughs> This meteor shower coral, I was hoping that it spread and oh my god. It's spreading to the point where I mean you can't see it right next to the blood shrimp. That wasn't even that that's new growth to right where the blood shrimp is. All of that is new growth. And to the right and all around. All that was was a small it was on a, yeah, it was like on a small frag plug, and guys, it just, it's spreading. It, even here, I'm going to need to get a new frag rack, because it, it literally took over my frag rack. So now I have a colony of, uh, but, you know, I think it's pretty cool. So that frag rack, at some point in time, is just going to be completely covered by this uh, meteor shower coral. Which then I'll just, I don't know, I just guess I'll keep it on there and I'll put frag plugs laying down sideways to see if uh, it will catch on to it. But what I notice is that my Acupora, that's actually my first piece of ac Acro that I've ever had. Yeah, right there. And that also came from Reef of Palooza. It's a beautiful piece, but I noticed that when it was next to... The meteor shower coral that's growing on the frag rack, if you can see it's beautiful, but now uh, my frag rack is soon to be uh, just that, a big hideous chunk of meteor shower coral. Um, it started eating uh, on my acupora on the side because this acro had all the way around on the bottom of the plug was full and it literally um, killed it. I guess they weren't, I don't know if they started attacking each other, <coughs> but, um, I started noticing immediate bleaching on the, on the bottom. So I moved them as well as these, um, zoas. These things have changed. They, um, they were pink, bright, vibrant pink, and they still are somewhat, <coughs> but now they have like, uh, pink, purple, and like every head has pretty much different colors. <coughs> Um, predominantly pink with neon green sensors uh, they look pretty awesome and they're growing like crazy 
Again, I gotta find another rock or something to put them on so they could dominate and take over. Um, this Kenya tree, this thing is invincible. See, I got like a little, I forgot I even put like a little, I think I had like two polyps of uh, zoas on that rock right there where my frog spawn. And the frog spawn is doing well. And I'm glad because the clowns, man, they beat the living crap out of it all day long. They're in and out. That's their anemone. And they, there's a carpet, a maxi mini right there. And they, that that's just the rock to them. They don't even know that it exists. My gorgonia. Um, love my gorgonia. It's getting taller. Um, at one point in time, it was, it was dying. And I don't know what, what was annoying it, but... It was literally, and those palithoas back there are literally taking over everything. They're starting to grow everywhere. Um, I haven't been, you know, I haven't, I think the less that I have my hands in this tank, the more growth I see. Um, obviously, we have to do water changes. I used to do them every week. Now I switch to every two weeks. So every second Saturday, I um, you know, I do like a five-gallon water change, and I, I measure the temperature, the salinity. I try to match it up, and I do it as quick as possible. Um, but I notice every week it was uh, corals were annoyed, and everything was just it wasn't happy, you know. So everybody has their. <clears throat> I have friends that they they swear by water changes weekly, but for me it was. You know, not doing too good, and I mean, I don't have problems because the way that I set up my canister filter, you see, and this is, I tell you guys, I remember I went away for a little bit, and I had the automatic fish feeder, I don't have an ATO yet, which I should have by now, but I've been slacking, and everything is zeroed out, um, yeah, this is a weird see something. Nope. It's zeroed out. So, um, it's looking kind of, uh, something other than yellow, but, and, uh, my cage is at eight. My calcium, I, I, I didn't, you know, this morning I wasn't thinking I used that new product. Um, I rinse out my ocean blend bottles and, um, I filled it up, and here I'll show you because I got the magnesium. I have to go get a gallon jug and mix half a gallon. But this is the brand, guys, and um, it's pharmaceutical grade um, powder. And it, it, it's true what they say it doesn't clump up, it uh, dissolves fast. I mean, they say that you could put it in warm water to dissolve, you, didn't, you know, for the um, alkalinity and the calcium. I did not even have to do that, guys. Didn't even have to bother with that. So that was great because I could just, I immediately uh, put it, I, I didn't use it right away. It says to let set for, well, I let it set for like 24 hours. And um, this morning I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I put it in. And uh, the alkalinity was, you know, when I put it in, it left, it wasn't just cloudy, it left like a funky little, it uh, looked like little it flakes when it hit the water, but it dissipated quick, it was nothing major, it disappeared, it didn't know anything, and um, yeah, so, but yeah guys, this is, this is what's going on, and my, I, my flower, my blue flower pot coral, those things, I have like a collage growing on that rock, and um, that was not on purpose, it just, that anemone attached itself to that rock, and I'm glad, you know, because it's in the front, um, he had wedged himself somewhere, and you couldn't even see him, so I had to rip him off of there, and I thought I killed him, but he survived, and he stood there, and hasn't moved, so I'm not complaining, because there's really nowhere else for him to go um i got mushrooms on here as you can see along with those uh, blue corals and that's great i've always wanted them and they had died off on on me and i thought they were completely gone but i had that um 
frag plug which looks like a little bushy tree right now a little bushy afro and it's literally you know just flourishing on its own right there I'm scared to even touch it or move it I don't want it to get annoyed um but yeah and my Akens I'm loving them this guy sometimes I guess the hermit crabs just annoy them because they jump on them and try to rip the food out um what else this leather right here um, it's grown enormously yeah guys and this is it for now I mean I just wanted to share with you guys I'm sorry to drag on so long uh, I don't do videos that often anymore due to uh, not having enough time and of course my cult coral which if you can see it I mean it's almost the size of both of my hands and I mean you can't I can't you know my hand would look bigger because of the video and the effect of it but it's it, it, she spans out even wider than that I mean it's crazy um, some people are like oh sell it and I'm like I don't want to get rid of it I got it I think it was like 45 bucks and it was small 30 30 something I don't even remember guys but it was really small and this thing is I don't even know how much they would charge for something like that in, in one of the local aquarium stores right about now but I'll let you go guys um, subscribe if you have any questions feel free and happy reefing